the man. Yes, Scott, it's a golden age. There is a golden age coming, but it's not. But it's an artificial golden age. It's a false golden age. It's a false peacemaker that's going to do all this. Um, I don't want to get too Christian because I have divorced myself from that entire. The uh, eschatology is my thing. Now that I now that I have done the research and I know where the Christians got most of their material. Now that I've read the Sibylline oracles and the Sibylline books, I understand where, it, like the Roman Senate used to consult these Sibylline books and the Sibylline oracles. I know where now that the Delphic, the Delphic prophetesses got their material. It's a, uh, the Christian records like the book of Revelation was never a Christian document. Now that I know the history of the Waldensons and how the early the early students of the Gnosis were hunted by the Catholics and killed and their texts were taken and assimilated, uh, I now see and I understand that uh, what we identify as purely Christian documents are not Christian at all. They belong to the entire world. It was the church that during the first three centuries that had taken these documents, most of, most of them of Alexandrian provenance, and, uh, and, and incorporated them into their earlier books. Most of these prophetic texts were not in the original Gospel of Marcion. For those of you who are, una are unaware, there was no Gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. The Synoptic Gospels at, the, at that time did not exist. 150 years A.D., Anno Domini, 150 years after the supposed year that Christ was born, there were no Gospels in existence except one, and it was the Gospel of Marcion. And in the Gospel, he was a, he was a, he was a Turkish navigator who had collected all these writings about this person who was a miracle worker who knew who had spoke these fantastic parables, but there was nothing miraculous anywhere in the original gospel. The original gospel did not have a virgin birth. It did not have any miracles turning water into wine. It did not have any miracles of healing the blind or the sick or raising the dead. None of that stuff was in the gospel of Marcion. It was all very powerful teachings. The gospel of Marcion is very, very interesting. It is the first gospel. But yeah, we're not going to we'll go into that in another video.